What's up guys, this is just going to be a quick tutorial, so let's say we are downloading a certain mod and you want to recreate some series like the DRM revival and so here I have already downloaded the content and we even have the manual which I always enjoy having the manual for the cars and everything I'm manually copying this into the content tab because this, this is from the content Something interesting here is a huge amount of skins for these cars But again I'm just going to paste the skins into the correct folder pretty quickly so now let's say <coughs> we want to create the grid for this pretty easily and quickly let's find the cars that we are looking for so these are the cars and their ears and because we have plenty of years, we might be able to create grid based on which year we are racing. Otherwise, we might have way too many cars. Or maybe we can mix and match a bit. This is a huge amount of cars. We want one of every car here. So you can actually shift, select a ton of the cars and select all the cars at the same time. So the shift key is one of the most useful things here. And another little trick that I just found out is that you can actually double click here and manually choose the skins. So let's say you want some skin for some car, you actually have some interesting skins that I, I got some skins that I downloaded based on real skins and these can be interesting and then you can save the grid preset here so save preset so I can save it as DRM revival but later on I'll need to just improve on it a bit and I have tons of different setups. I have here some setup for a grid that I saw on World Sim series for a multi-class grid, DPI cars and GT3 cars. I have like a, a DTM pack here as well. You can create any grid that you want. You can just have always the same car like this Praga Eve with a ton of different skins. Or here I can go for the Japanese Super GT series and I have all the cars from that pack with the respective skin and you can select the skins pretty easy with double click then you save the grid here and the event setup then you can save that separately but let's say I've saved that with this grid you can even keep the same setup and change the grid of course now I need to change the track car and all the conditions so it would make sense to go at Sugo and to drive one of these cars <coughs> I do have a different version of the same car here I believe it's here, GT500, this one. And you might want to tick use extended physics, usually for mod cars that is the way to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, it was just some quick tips on how to create grids pretty quick and easy on Assetto Corsa Content Manager.